filmed live on a secret tropical island in the Bay of Fundy, this is the Quarantine Island Chronicles with Big Dave. <laughs> Welcome back to Quarantine Island. Tonight's contestant, Powerhouse Brewery. But before we go in there, let's go back to August 2019. A beautiful summer evening, August 15, 2019. A car driven by an intoxicated young woman traveling the wrong direction on Queen's Ave. And then, the end of the road. The car hits the house, right at the gas main. The neighbor rushes out, hearing the hiss of the gas, pulls the young lady from the car. Seconds later, a giant fireball. It can be seen for miles. The devastating scene looks more like a war zone than a house fire. The hero, the man that pulled that young lady from the fire, well, that's Chris Patterson. And he's a young man that works right over here at Powerhouse Brewing. We're going to try to not let that influence us as we do a review on this place, Powerhouse Brewing. So let's go back to 100 Kellogg Lane and Powerhouse Brewing. Have a little look around. This place is a good looking place. Inside, it's nice. The food's ready. Let's get it to the island. Once prepared, the food's taken to waiting London City Police Officers, who with sirens on and lights going, take the food directly to London International Airport, where it's loaded aboard a waiting F-15 fighter jet, who 28 minutes later lands on the island. The food is then loaded onto a jeep with a chimpanzee driver who drives it directly to the beach. All right, so food's arrived. That's Powerhouse Brewery. You had a look at it. We're sorry about all the problems this guy's had, especially with the, uh, with the explosion. I thought it was great that he saved that young girl even though she was the cause of the explosion. Um, a lot of people lost a lot of things there. Yes, they did. And our heart really goes out to them. But uh, that's not going to sway us on the food. We're going to be honest. And you got some stiff competition in this neighborhood for barbecue. Really, just over on Francis Street, not very far away, the Smokies. And they know how to barbecue. So, we'll see. We've heard a good thing about your beer. I don't know much about beer. They say your beer's good. Let's see if the barbecue's good. We'll get her out. All right, so should we just start opening boxes? Okay. Okay, let me get this one open up here. It's, there we go. This is cornbread. Yeah. Jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Oh God. It's too bad that it looks doesn't like cornbread. Because <laughs> I'm looking like I'm going to enjoy that. Um, these are the wings. Four. Four wings. Okay, we didn't worth the price of this, did we? I think it was 35 bucks uh, for this three meat. I think it was meant to serve one person. Oh, they smell good. Smell that? They smell smoky? Mmm. Uh, no. I know I said the wings were good last week. And they were alright. But I'm not a breaded wing kind of guy. And you're not a breaded wing person really either. No, I would rather have a naked wing. And when it smoked like that, I'm looking forward to that. Those look good. Those <laughs> look really good. All right, we also got macaroni and cheese, homemade macaroni and cheese. It's got a little bit of uh, bread crumb on it. Yeah. See that all right? That's a color. Oh. Baked beans. This is real barbecue, eh? Baked beans. Looks like it got a little jalapeno on top. Ooh. And Lucinda. She loves the spicy. <laughs> oh, you can smell it. Okay, and let's get to the important part. Let me get the lid off of this. So this has, it was 35 bucks. Oh, Ooh. look at that. First kit and both pork. Oh man, I just, okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some of this out. You're not gonna have to watch us. And we'll uh, we'll be back in an instant. All right, before we go too far into this, did we get Corona? Well, of course not. It's Powerhouse Brewery. Now, I let them pick out the beer because I really don't know much about beer. So that is a homecoming APA. So that's an American Pilsner, I guess. And this is a cream ale right here. 
Which one do you want to try, Lucinda? Um, I'd like to try the cream ale. I've never had a cream ale. Well, let's either. try the cream ale. Give me your glass. Now, I'm not a huge beer drinker, but... <laughs> I have a little head on it, I know that, but not too much. <laughs> you gotta have enough though. It's kind of golden, isn't it? It's got a nice head, doesn't it? Did you try it? I like that. Do you like that? I like that. I'm not a beer drinker, but I could drink that. Mild, isn't it? It is. It's a it mild is. deal. Here. I like that. All right. Well, we'll uh, keep drinking that one, and we'll open the other one soon. Try a wing, Lucinda. Oh, I can. Now, do you want to try some of the bourbon barbecue sauce they got with it? Um, I'd like to try it just just plain first. Plain I think that's probably itself. the way to go. How is it? Fantastic. Is that a good wing? Oh yeah. When you're when you're biting into it, you're smelling the smoke. Oh yeah, these are good. Very good. Mm. Jalapeno cheddar cornbread. I gotta try this. Make sure I get it right for the uh, jalapenos. Cornbread's kind of sweet. Yeah. That's the way it is usually. I think. I know you're not a big lover of cornbread. Why don't you try some baked beans? The guy that doesn't drink, that's pretty good beer. Or the beans with the jalapeno on top. That is jalapeno, isn't it? It is jalapeno. I avoided the jalapeno. Spicy? A real bourbon, a real alcohol. Bourbon flavor? Yeah. You're doing a whole little complex there. Now that used to be the Kellogg's factory, but we don't eat Kellogg's. We just don't support a bunch of dicks that close a business down. A huge business that supports so many people in the community, like Kellogg. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Kellogg's, you can go to hell. So, that being said, it's a beautiful thing they've done in there. They put in there. It's a really nice thing. But I'm going to try the macaroni and cheese. It's got some stick to it. Mm hmm. Looks so made. I like it. I wasn't sure these guys would have the, uh, no, we haven't tried the meat yet. No, we haven't. But, you know what, the meat's no good. I could just eat sides here. Well, oh, it does really have a, a bourbon alcohol taste. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, do you want to try your cornbread or are you okay with cornbread right now? Um, I'm okay with that. Alright, well, yeah. we're going to go right to the food. Now, the monkey's here. They're quite the bakers. Look at these rolls those monkeys bake. We're going to try them with our meat. Now this was dinner for one. I'll give Lucinda some meat there to put on. All going to roll out. So once again, 35 bucks. There's a fair bit of food here. Yes, there is. That's a fair bit of meat. All right, Lucinda, do you want a little bit of the bourbon barbecue sauce on there? Yeah. You see the smoke ring on this one before? I'm sorry, I got my hand in this one. See the smoke ring? See the red? Oh, I should score my sandwich. I forgot to get us dessert. I was going to order dessert. Did you uh, order a surprise dessert? And I thought that was right up our alley. Yeah. And then I forgot to get it. The pork is very tasty. Nice and tasty. That brisket's all right. That sauce is pretty good. I'm just gonna take a little bit of fun here. Mmm. That sauce is different, but. Now, I haven't tried a wing. Oh, you haven't? I have to try a wing. Ooh. I'll put a little bit of sauce on it. I know I have to do some good wings here in London. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might have to be my favorite so far. I think it's uh, quite good. Really good. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this one. I'm going to 
you some notes to send it? Sure. We're going to try the uh, Homecoming American Pale Ale. It must have six or seven different kinds of beer. Too hoppy? Citrusy. Grapefruit. When I was drinking it, I could get the scent of grapefruit. Yeah. And I get the taste of grapefruit. I don't mind it. I think it's good. I think I like the other one, the cream ale. I think I really like the cream ale. Yes. But for a guy that doesn't drink beer, I think these are all right. What do you think, Lucinda? These people have had such problems. The house blew up. COVID-19 was making their new business a hard go, I'm sure. Well, their food is delicious. It's, I think it's something that you should try. I think you got some stiff competition here, Smokey. You make great barbecue, but you know what? When you're off the or when you got the, what's he have for beer there? Uh, oh, God, it'll come to me. But it's not crap beer. I know he has steam whistle, and I think he has, uh, oh, one of those, Paps Blue Ribbon, an American beer. Well, it is an American barbecue, I think, but the beer here's great. The food's delicious. The atmosphere, as you saw, it's a cool place. So, thumbs up. Definitely. Well, that's it for this week from Quarantine Island. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment below, and look for us next time, because I'm Dave. And I'm Lucinda. We'll see you.